In the fall of 2004, the Steelers looked like a sure bet for the Super Bowl. They seemed unstoppable during the regular season. And then, well, they fell one game short. But who cares now, because this year they took the opposite approach, and Pittsburgh is going to the Super Bowl. And one local photographer followed the fans in 2004 and 2005. For more on his work, let's go over to Chris Moore. Chris? Well, thank you, Stacy. We first saw the work of photographer Kevin Sweeney last year when he began his project called 16 Sundays. Kevin joins us now with an update. Looks a lot different uh, towards the ending this time around, don't you think? Yep, we made, w we made one more win than we did last year. But um, the year actually had more ups and downs than it did last year. So. Uh, well, tell us about the update. What's going on this time around? Um, well, I've still been following Steeler fans uh, throughout the country. Uh, I've, been f I've been traveling more to the edges of the country. I went to San Diego and San Francisco and Texas and uh, Green Bay this year just to see, you know, different areas that the Steelers don't get to play at that often and all the people that live there that come out to see them. Why is the Steeler Nation so broad across the, across the United States? Well, at some point, families left Pittsburgh, but it's been 25 years now since that big migration, and I think it's spread. And um, I've met a lot of people out in California that had no ties to Pittsburgh, but at some point, when they're about eight years old, uh, their father rooted for the Cowboys or Oakland, and they said, <laughs> nope, I like the Pittsburgh Steelers. And 30 years later, they're still Steeler fans. It must be something about that black and gold. Let's take a look at some of the photographs. Are these from uh, this year's project? Uh, a few of these photographs are from last well, year. Oh, that's last year. That's yeah, the, wedding, the wedding, right? Was um, that outside uh, the stadium? Yeah, that was out in the uh, parking lot outside the stadium, which is actually now gone. That's sort of changed. That was Three tailgating. River Stadium. No, that oh. was, uh, but they built a new parking lot there. Oh, now. okay, the parking but, lot's um, gone. I think they're still married. I haven't heard from them <laughs> lately. <laughs> All right. Vegas girls love the Steelers. Yes. Well, there must be something else beside, behind this one, right? Um, this, is, uh, this was out in San Diego. Um, a lot of black and gold showed up uh, in California for the, the Monday night game there, and um, there was a whole corner of the parking lot that was just black so, and gold. So what's the story? You can tell us. Vegas girls. What well, actually, I didn't meet many of the Vegas girls. <laughs> this was, I was still looking around. Um, I wrote down their license plate, but they never came back after the game. Okay, let's look at what else. There seems to be a lot of people dressing up their animals, too, right? Yeah, that's um, Willie. Uh, Willie's owners, uh, Bob, Bob Schmidt from Millvale, actually, when the weather's nice, they drive ride their bicycles down uh, in the morning and ride around Heinz Field. And, uh, and Willie rides in this the back morning, in the trailer? W w Willie rides in a, in a little basket up front. <laughs> oh, he's a view. real small dog. Yeah, he's then. a little dachshund. Okay, all right. And uh, people are into this painting of their heads yeah. and chest and whole bodies when it comes people to People are steel. into displaying their pride uh, in a lot of different ways. This is uh, back of somebody's head, um, spray painted uh, with the Steelers logo on it. I wonder how much, did you talk to him? How much time does it take to do this kind uh, of thing? That probably only takes about five or six minutes. Wow. Um, some people do it themselves. There's actually a couple of services, some people with some airbrush cans out in front of the stadiums that'll do it for five or ten bucks for you if you want. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I guess the artists are making money yeah. wherever they go. And I love this one, 777. We ought to play that one tonight, huh? Yeah, that was on my, my bus trip down to Texas. I joined a bus trip uh, from Dallas with the... Men of Steel North Texas chapter, and we took a bus down to Houston. Uh, two Men buses. of Steel North Texas chapter. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we all rolled into the stadium uh, about an hour before the game and had a whole section of seats. And um, this is... And this one? This is training camp. Okay. Um, this everybody's is holding out the autograph, wanting to get the autographs. Yeah, everybody's trying to get autographs. That's okay. one of the things I looked at this year is, you know, it ended, it ended in tears last year mm -hmm. uh, with a loss and, and how the cycle renews itself every year. All right. What's going on here? Oh, uh, that's back to the wedding. Oh, that's, that's the wedding the again. Toss okay. of the bouquet. Okay. And uh, this is at a bar called Shanghai Kelly's out in San Francisco. Um, this was... Bettis uh, must have just scored, or did he fumble? Looking actually, at the guy this, winds up, this winds up being the loss to, to Baltimore. Oh, the okay. The second loss to Baltimore, and it was... It actually was, was a tough last second loss, I, th I think, either in overtime or the last couple seconds. And people into artwork, is this yep. a tattoo or yep. something that's here's temporary? A here's a, here's, yeah, it's a permanent tattoo from... Uh, the Men of Steel of North Dallas? 
No, actually, actually that's unrelated. Oh, okay. Um, this is in San Diego, but that's uh, the old dynasty, Noel, Lambert, Bradshaw. Wow. Um, here's twins? actually a couple of twins I just met the other weekend at a tailgate party. Was that um, here in Pittsburgh? Yeah, that, well, that was up in uh, uh, Valencia, okay. just, just north of here. And this one? That was at the... This is a win. <laughs> that was actually at the pep rally oh, last, okay. just last Friday at the courthouse. Um, Frank O'Harris and a bunch of people came down for everybody to... It's black and gold day. And that's the south side after the win on Sunday night. They tell me you could not get down East Carson Street. No, you couldn't. It was packed. And if you were there, you'd probably get hit by a car. Um, this is actually somebody from upper, the upper peninsula of Michigan. Um, <laughs> and they came, this is the Green Bay. They, they live up at the, as far north as they can. Um, and they, this and is the still, closest they so can. So Detroit is Steelers bound fans. to be packed with oh, Steelers yeah, yeah, fans. Yeah, they're all it'll, it'll be like a home crowd for the mm -hmm. Steelers. Yeah. Should they wear the black jerseys or the white ones? What do you think? I think white works. Okay, all right. What's, what's this one? Uh, that's back at training camp. That's just... You know, it's amazing how many people crowd in just to just to meet there. All right, we got a minute to go. What is this project going to mean to you, uh, especially if the Steelers win the Super Bowl? What kind of climax would you like to see written to, to end this year's season? I just, you know, I'd, I'd love to see them bring a Lombardi Trophy back to the back to the city, mm -hmm. back back to the people here. I'd like that one extra stop after Detroit. I don't want it to end in Detroit. I want everybody to come back here for the city to rally around everything. And, and it will be one huge rally, won't you, yeah. don't you think? Yeah. And what do you think it's going to do to the Steeler Nation worldwide? Because we see photographs of troops in Afghanistan and in Iraq waving their terrible titles. I think this year there will be thousands of new Steeler fans born, and uh, or they're going to switch loyalties. Any, any prediction on the game? I predict this. I, well, I won't make predictions, <laughs> but I like to. <laughs> for superstitious reasons, but I like the Steelers. All right. Uh, we all like the Steelers here in this town and apparently with your work everywhere else, too. Thank you, Kevin. We appreciate right. it. Hey, Stacy, back.